guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is a very quick makeup tutorial on the makeup I'm wearing right now. The girls that I work out with aren't as into makeup as I am. They actually challenged me to do a makeup look using five products from the drugstore that only took five minutes. It's really good if you're in a hurry, if you are a beginner, if you wanna wear a little bit more makeup but you don't wanna go with the whole contouring and you don't even know how anyway to put on all that makeup that some of the makeup looks require, which is why I did this video. They wanna wear a little bit of makeup but they're not as obsessed with makeup as I am, shall we say? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and get started with the five drugstore makeup products in five minutes makeup challenge. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I did prime my face already. I am not counting primer as one of the five products using the Olay Regenerous Primer Plus. It looks like this. I did a whole review on this primer. If you have not seen that review, I will link it down below. I will show you the products that I'm going to use so I don't have to show them as I go through the video. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. For foundation, I'm using the Milani Powder Foundation in the shade Natural. It's in the gold that looks like this and the color looks like that. I wanted to use a powder foundation because it is fastest and I think if you're a beginner, it may be a better way to start or more what you are willing to do than go in with the whole buffing in of the liquid foundation, setting it with powder and all that stuff. To put some life back in my face, I'm using the Physicians Formula Blushing Powder and this is in the shade Blushing Natural. It looks like that. And I wanted to get one that had multiple colors for blush, but also some brown undertones in it. I chose this one because it seemed like it had the most color because if you're only gonna use one product, I wanted to get like some payoff from it. For mascara, I'm using my favorite drugstore mascara, the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eye. For lips, I couldn't decide, should I do? Well, I could decide because I did decide. I was going back and forth between doing like a super natural lip or a bolder lip. And I went with a bolder lip because I think if you're doing minimal makeup, but then you have a bolder lip, it just makes it look like you put more effort into your makeup. It makes you look even more put together than you really are. I am going with the Revlon Matte Balm in the shade Fierce, number 265, but it's like a dark shade. All right, let's do this. I set my phone for five minutes. I put it on the timer. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done in five minutes, but I'm going to try really, really hard. We'll see. I'm really, really nervous. Like it's a race, it's a makeup race, and I wanna win. Competitive much? No. I'm nervous. Five minutes. Five minutes, ready, set, go. I have to use concealer underneath my eyes because I have dark circles. If you don't have dark circles, you could skip this step and it would be even faster because I feel like this is slow. All right, moving on to the powder foundation. I'm gonna start on my neck and I'm just gonna wipe it on. And you could use this sponge, wet or dry, but I'm using it dry. I think this color is actually pretty good. Got some decent coverage. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the same powder in this Real Techniques brush and just set underneath my eyes with just a tiny bit of product. I don't want it to be too cakey because this is a powder foundation, but I don't want the concealer to go all weird on me either. So for blush slash bronzer, here we go. I'm just gonna throw that on my cheeks here. This is my Real Techniques blush brush. I'm just gonna go to town until I can see it. I knew that this was gonna be kind of light, but I think I am seeing some color. I'll put a little bit up on my forehead, down my nose, just to like give yourself a healthy glow. It's not contouring, just to make you look alive. You can focus some on your apples of your cheeks there. Brush the eyebrows. No time for eyebrow drill. Also, no products left. Mascara. I'm so nervous. My phone like went black. I don't even know how much time I have left. All right, lips.
timing. Ha! Huh? I'm so proud of myself. I cannot believe that I did that in five minutes. Let's check my handiwork. I was barely like even looking at myself. I think it looks pretty good. I like the bold lip. I think that does really make it look more put together. I think it turned out pretty good for five products from the drugstore in five minutes. I think that this is a pretty good makeup look. I'm pretty pleased with myself. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The information for the five products that I used and the primer will be in the description box below and also the link to the primer review. If you like this video and you want me to do 10 products in 10 minutes or five high-end products in five minutes, leave me a comment below and I can switch it up and do it. But this was really fun, so I would like to do that if you guys are interested. All the links to my social media will be in the description box, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. So everything you need to know is down there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.